A prayer is called a part of the desire that I wish to correct. A prayer is not blah, 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 the words. And it's not screaming or heartbeats. A prayer is a clear, precise desire that I raise above and I say, please correct it, I can't stand it anymore. Yes. How does a person clarify the part with which he can work and the part with which he cannot work? Well, try working with all your 100%. What's the problem? Try all the 100% of your desire, working with it as much as you can, with all the different situations, all the lusts and pleasures and fulfillments and the opportunities, and later, but with respect to the group, not just like that in daily life, with respect to the group, where the shattering took place, not just whatever you feel like. You're not supposed to try to overcome the piece of chicken you're going to eat. You need to overcome your resistance from the friends. That's the only thing. There was no, you had no shattering with the chicken, I hope. I don't know. No, but the shattering is between you and the friends, the souls. The others, it doesn't say love thy chicken as thyself, right? It says love thy friend as thyself. Yes. And that is called the part that we raise to the upper level. That part you wish to correct and to be in connection with society is the part you raise to the upper level. You want that to become in order to bestow. And the other parts, you can't. Before the shattering, everything was only me. After the shattering, by the shattering, what happened within me was a creation of that picture within me that there is me and what's outside of me. I feel my, myself and what's inside of me and that's called this world. The way I feel myself now is feeling my beastliness and the point in the heart that is nevertheless clothed into my corporeality right now. But my entire soul is outside of me. That is, the entire world, all the world, all the desires of inanimate, vegetative, animate, and speaking, all the desires that exist besides me are my soul. I need to connect them, attach them to myself, so they become mine, and that's where I work against my ego. I have a resistance here, and the resistance becomes greater and greater and against the resistance I must attach them to myself that's called overcoming and what I feel in the connection that is above the overcoming will be called spirituality or the spiritual world so my whole work is with respect to society Where is the request from the Creator in the drawing? Does that happen when you turn to the society? The request is always to achieve, reach the Creator through the society. He is the first in my intention and the environment as a means, as a cause. The adhesion with the Creator is the goal. In order to be able to adhere to him, he shattered the soul into pieces, so that in our mutual work we will always think, now we can cling to him. As we work between ourselves, we are able to realize that. So you have Israel, the lights and the Creator as one. You must maintain those things together. That's a must. Otherwise, what do I need the society for? I don't need it. It says, love thy friend as thyself is the great rule of the Torah. Meaning that it's just a vessel for the light. You understand? It's not just love thy friend as thyself the way all kinds of pretty people say it.